I'm gonna work and pivot around the head shape. Now, if you wanted a fringe, What's up guys? Today I uh, got a really fun haircut. I'm gonna do it dry because I wanna be able to showcase this haircut pretty quickly. One thing I wanna do is I wanna smooth the hair and prep it. So I usually take diagonal sections, diagonal partings, and my goal with the hair is to make sure that I iron it in the direction or with the face frame, right? So we talk about uh, the perfect haircut for a round face. My goal is to make sure that I don't have too long a layers in the very front of the head. So anytime you have a shorter face, you wanna elongate it. The way that you elongate it is having some of those layers, either popping back off the face or, um, or coming towards the face. You don't want to have a long one length haircut that's gonna then shorten up this gap between the length and where your jawline is. So uh, really pulling in those layers. So I'll just continue. I'm just gonna go through here real quick, just some diagonal parting. So let's just say we blow out the hair. I get the hair nice and smooth. The smoother the hair in a dry haircut, the better because of the fact that as you're working, you wanna be able to see how the hair is laying. So if you have curly hair and they're gonna wear it curly, then cut it curly. If you have straighter hair and they're gonna wear it in more of a straight fashion, then uh, cut it straight. All right, so we get our parting. Now, this could be any style parting that your guest has. So if they come in, they have a, a slight side parting, you just keep it there. If they have a center parting, you keep it there. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna draw a circle and really just take out that crown area. So I draw a circle there. So now what I've basically done is I've separated that crown area so I can cut that differently than I cut the interior of the haircut. I'm gonna work and pivot around the head shape. Now, if you wanted a fringe or a side fringe or a curtain fringe, however they part it, then obviously I would start right here in the front. If you don't wanna really do too much of a fringe, you want more of a face frame, then I'm gonna pull everything out this way. I don't wanna do necessarily a fringe on this uh, haircut today. I wanna do a little more of a face frame. So see how these pieces kind of come down and get a little bit, they're a little far away from the jawline. So you can see how her face looks a little bit shorter here. If I bring these pieces in, it'll kind of almost attach the jawline to these pieces. So that's my goal there. Strong side here, and we're gonna work over here on the weak side. What I mean by that is this is where there's less hair. This is the part side of the head. So there's less hair here than there is on this side. Now there's a couple of things that we can do to cut this face frame. I'm gonna show you guys one of the easiest ways. There's also other you know, techniques that you can do, like the stroking technique. You can come in here and kind of work through it like that. What I'm gonna do is I wanna show you guys just a slide cutting technique that's really simple. So we'll take a slightly diagonal forward line. I'm gonna come to the opposite direction or the opposite side of the chair. I'm gonna pull the hair forward like this. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm going to slide, deciding where I want this piece to hit. So if I want it to hit right here at the jaw, then I kinda know right about where I wanna start cutting. Now let's say you're not comfortable slide cutting. Slide cutting takes away from having to elevate because it gives you a softer line and it goes short to long. If you wanted to do a little bit more point cutting, you can see if I elevate to this point here, that's pretty much where that line is. So even if you wanted to clean up your slide cutting a little bit, you could elevate to this point and cut. And that'll give you that same effect. So here, you could either cut here and slide through, which is gonna give you that short to long diagonal line, or just lift it up in the air and point cut through it, and that'll soften it for you as well. So now, you bring the hair out, you slide cut it. You elevate the hair, you point cut it. One last little thing to help define some of these pieces in the front is to come through here, and now you can half close on the hair just like this and work through it. 
and that'll just take out some of those gaps or it'll create a little bit more of a gap. It'll help build in more of that face frame and just define some of those pieces. So you can see that that takes away that gap and makes her face look a little bit longer. So now we can work on the heavy side and I wanna bring it up and I want either this to kind of come across and cut up, which will help kind of soften the roundness of someone's face. Or you could have it kind of tuck and then just come right around and come in towards the face that way as well. So now I'm gonna stay on this side of the head. I'm gonna work a vertical parting. I'm gonna bring that up over the parting here. And I'm gonna grab a little bit of that hair that we cut previously as a guideline. And I'm gonna pull that new hair over to me. So just bringing it over like this. I can see that guideline through, and I'm gonna come in and point cutting my line, making sure that I'm following the head shape. That's gonna give me the most seamless layers. If I drop too much, the top por portion of this cut is gonna be heavy. I want it to be nice and seamless. Now, it's gonna look a little thick. It doesn't look thick here, but it looks a little thick just because there's so much density. So there's a couple things that you can do. You could slide cut into it a little bit if you want to. I'm going to take out this fringe area here and just slide through and cut into this portion of the hair. Some of those pieces start to define. Got this fringe that comes over, kind of sits on the opposite side. All right, so now we're gonna move into the back of the head. And what I wanna do here is again, remove some of that weight and layer some of the hair in the back. So I'm gonna take a vertical section, straight down center back, just like this. And I'm just gonna elevate the hair up and then cut into it. Now, if you're worried about taking away length on this, just make sure when you take your vertical section and you start to elevate the hair up, just let that bottom kind of fall out. And then that's, that's your length, so you know you're keeping it. All right, so now I've got this crown area that I took out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this entire crown area over top of the parting. Bring it over top of the parting. I'm gonna grab some of this hair just to give myself a guideline here. And I'm just gonna literally cut deep point cutting into it. So it'd be another thing that you could, if you want to use a tri razor, comb this all towards me, just like this. And then I could take this 50 uh, cutting and work through it like that. And then kind of softly cut off the ends through it. So what that's gonna do is give me this really fun kind of pop of layering through the back of the head. And you can see that length in the back that goes into that kind of longer V shape into the back of the head. Uh, you get a ton of movement from that. So I'm plugging in a wand iron, this is Paul Mitchell, and we're gonna give it a little bit of style back off of the face. I'm gonna use a little bit of worked up. So worked up, flexible hold, uh, styling spray. go back in with worked up again and just kind of scrunch up loosen up some of those curls I appreciate all of you guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for being a part of all these classes. I definitely would encourage you guys to go to freesaloneducation.com. Check out all the online classes that we have and also the videos. You can figure out any haircut you ever wanted to learn. 
If you wanna learn a curtain bang, it's on there. If you wanna learn a long bob, if you wanna learn highlighting, balayage, foliage, natural hair, curly, straight, everything. Everything is on our online app, FSE Now.